One of my favorite features of working with sheet sets is the, how it can automate the process of plotting. I mean, plotting can be kind of a pain in the ass by the time you find all the drawings that are related to a project. And when I mean plotting, I don't necessarily mean to paper, but what if I want to send that out to PDF? What if I want to send it out to DWF? You know, how do I, how can I automate that process? So the publish feature of AutoCAD, again, this is not necessarily, or it's not specific to sheet sets, but it's so integrated into sheet sets that it makes it such a, a great addition for working with, with sheet sets. So the idea is, is that I could pick specific sheets, right click, and notice the publish option. And notice all the publishing features. I can publish to DWF, to PDF, to a plotter, um, and I can publish you know, all the sheets in the subset. I can also do it from a subset level. So from the subset, let's publish everything within the subset, or I can do it right from the very top. So right from the very top, I can actually publish the entire sheet set and all the sheets contained within there. So if we do that, if I, let's actually just take this, let's take this structural sh subset. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to go publish, but I really don't know how it's going to publish it. So notice that I can publish using a particular page setup override. So if I was just to go and say straight up publish to DWF, it's going to publish that sheet using the settings on each sheet. So let's do that. I'm going to publish to DWF. It's prompting me for a location. So let's call this IRD structural and we're going to click select and it's just going to go out to do it. Notice there's no prompting, there's no setup, there's no adding sheets. It's just going to go out and it's going to generate that. So it's doing it in the background so it'll prompt us when it's done. Now if I want to notice that I could actually publish this using a particular page setup override. So where is it getting that override from? Well, if I look at my, my template file and I go to the template and let's just take a look at the uh, page setup manager, notice that those are available within the page setup manager. So what I wanna do is I wanna create a new one. So I'm gonna click new and I'm gonna start with this arch D to B LAN. So I'm gonna click okay and we can see that it's using the DWF6 E plot and it's going to go to the arch full B bleed. So I'm gonna change this because what I wanted to use is I wanted to use the, let's use the ANSI. So I'm gonna use the ANSI expand B option instead. I am going to plot the layout and because my sheets are set up as D size, we're using a scale option to scale it accordingly. Instead of monochrome, what I want is I want this to be grayscale. And we are gonna plot the object line weights. We're not gonna plot transparency and we're going to leave this as landscape. So we'll click okay. And we can see now that setup one. So let's just modify it, whoops, let's, let's rename this. So we'll call this DWF six underscore ANSI B, great. So I've saved this now as this page setup in my template. So what we'll do is we'll save that. And now when I go back to my sheet set manager and I right click and I want to publish using a override, notice the new option to override the drawings. So now I could select that and use that format. So let's take this Use this one, same set of drawings. We'll call this one instead, we'll call this, uh, let's just call this IRD gray, and we'll click select. And again, it's gonna go out and publish that. Okay, so while we're waiting for that one to finish, let's look at the original one. So I'm just going to launch the DWF. It's gonna launch in design review. And remember that I'm using DWF, but it easily could have been to a plotter. So you wouldn't get a file, it would just simply start pushing that out to your, to your printer or plotter. Um, also it could be to PDF, and you would set it up the same way with your page setups. Instead of picking the DWF, you'd pick the, the appropriate PDF. So we can see that it's created a singular DWF file, and as I click on it, I can see that it's included all the sheets within that um, subset. So it was right from the very top there, I just 
right on that subset and I started the EE transmit. Now if we look at the options here, when I go into my publish, kind of looked at the top level here. Notice within here, um, we can actually um, not include particular publish sheets. Notice that I can edit the subset and sheet publish settings. So if I right click on it, I can actually pick which ones that I don't want to include. So perhaps whenever I'm plotting from the very top level, so if I was to go to the IRD edition and I was to say e-transmit, I don't want it to include the structural format or subset. So I can use this to pick and choose which automatically gets published. If I take a look at the additional options, notice that we could publish in reverse order. So instead of starting with T01 at the top, let's start from the bottom and work our way up. We can include a plot stamp and we can adjust that. So if I want a date at the corner, I can modify that. All right, so before we proceed to look at the next option, let's close this template file. And I'm going to right click on here, go to my publish options and notice the option to manage my page setups from here. So this is a shortcut, so instead of having to open the template, it's basically doing that in the background and allowing me to add and modify the page setups that are, that are within that, that template. So again, it's just a shortcut. Instead of having to open the template, you can just do it directly right from the right-click menu. We also have the option here for our sheet set DWF publish options and our sheet set PDF, PDF, PDF publish options. So I'm going to go into my sheet set DWF options and this would be any time that I'm, that I'm going to publish to DFF. So here's the default location. Are we doing a multi-sheet or do we want individual DDFs? And these options are pretty much identical to what we would see with the PDF options. It's going to prompt for the name or we could just default to, um, to specify the name that we want. We can include layer information. We can specify how the layers are going to merge. And then how do we want to include block information? Now, if I was to right click and go into my publish into my PDF options, um, the dialog box looks different, but it's the same idea. Are we prompting for a file name and what's the default location? Are we doing a multi-sheet file or are we going to create individual PDFs for each sheet? What's the quantity? How are they merging? And then down here, are we including layer information? And instead of blocks, so blocks is for DWF, so blocks could be um, include like the name of the block and any attribute information. Whereas PDFs, we can actually include hyperlinks or generate bookmarks from various information in the drawings. So with that set, that means that anytime we publish the PDF or publish the DWF, we know the format that we're getting. And that would be the same if we're going to use this option. So from the publish, or if we were to use the export option. So I was to pick export to PDF, it's going to use the settings that you set in those PDF options. So the advantage here is that you don't have to worry about, did I, did I get all the sheets? Did I plot them all? Do, are they all included in the ABF? Um, what's the file name? What's the location? The advantage here is that you have kind of a central location to set the settings and it takes care of collecting and publishing all the required sheets.